Hello YouTube, today I'm going to teach you guys how to change the air filter on a 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, should be pretty straightforward, here we go. You're going to need an air filter, I chose Pure Later. This is the part number. I'm under the impression all I'm going to have to do is yank this off and be careful not to crack it because it houses your air filter. I'm under the impression I just have to actually yank off the engine cover. I may actually have to uh, unbolt some stuff and unhook some stuff. We'll see how it goes. Alright guys, for better or worse, I yanked it off and this whole piece came out. Sometimes, sometimes you might want to actually unbolt it. But I don't know, I mean, it came out when I yanked it, so I just yanked it off. I suggest grabbing from the side when you yank on this thing, because I've actually cracked it a little bit grabbing from here. So I would say grab on the sides and give it a real nice yank on the side. Good hard yank. That's how you're going to get it off. And on the back, too, you got to do the same thing. No screwdriver needed. I uh, I squeezed outward on that, and it came out. Um, if need be, you know, just use a flathead screwdriver. But you know, you just push with your thumb, pull it right out. Over here, got another one. All right, guys, on this one, don't use any tools because you're gonna screw up the the hook up on the back. What you have to do is uh, with your hand. Pull back on this hookup on the back. I messed it up with a screwdriver. Just use your finger, it's not easy. You need to use both hands probably to pull on it while you push up on the back there. That's how you get this puppy off. So now, as far as I know, this air thing, this air duct, all this should be free. Well, it should be hooked on to the air cover. Just going to pull the whole thing off. Okay guys, so you need to grab over here, yank it up, grab over here, yank it up. You may or may not want to unscrew over here, I'm taking the whole thing off personally. Uh, take this off like I told you before, take that off like I told you before, and now I was wrong, we actually have to take this clip off right here. I like to use a vice grip for that, so that's what I'm going to do. And then it should be free. Let's see. Alright guys, this is what the piece looks like when you take it out and turn it upside down and put it on the ground. <clears throat> looks like I'm going to need a, uh, a star head screwdriver to go ahead and take these off. Looks like it's only two screws. I'll let you guys know if it ends up being more. And uh, we're going to take that off and that's where we're going to put our air filter. Alright guys, it turned out to be five screws. No sweat. If you want to, you can leave them retained on there. Due to the nature of how they long the threads are and whatnot. Alright guys, here's what your new filter looks like in there. Uh, it's really snug on the edges, so make sure you tuck it in real tight. Tuck it in real tight all along the edges and uh, reassemble. Alright guys, I went ahead and replaced the filter, screwed everything back on, that's ready to go back in. Um, I went ahead, last time I was in here I lubed up these nubs that hold on the cover with lithium grease and I think it made my, my life a little bit easier this time, but I'm not sure. So I went ahead and lubed it up again this time with some uh, brake lubricant, uh, silicone brake lubricant. Uh, I guess I'll give you guys an update the next time I come in here whether or not that you know made my life any easier. You got uh, four of these nubs that hold on your your cover. I went ahead and lubed them up with silicone brake grease. Now you just gotta place that cover 
back where it goes, uh, slam them down on these nubs, and rehook up all your connections, and uh, you're good to go. Alright guys, after you slam it, you know, finagle that thing back under the thing here, you know, finagle that thing in there, make sure, you know, go ahead and make sure everything fits right, then go ahead and mercilessly slam down on the four corners, you're good and tight, now just uh, finagle this, make sure your hose is on good there, you know, wiggle it around, make sure you got a good tight fit. Make sure everything over here fits nice and snug as well. Make sure everything over here fits nice and snug. Make sure you're clipped in. You know, make sure all your air stuff is good and tight. And uh, you know, make sure everything's real good over there. Clip everything back in. Make sure it's nice and clipped. Make sure you hear it clip. it audibly clicks in so you're sure you're good uh, move your clamp back on and uh, you should be good to go all right guys if this top piece comes off on you the clips both go on the outside they go on the outside if you have the misfortune of this thing popping off which isn't a big deal both clips go on the outside. This thing hugs the outside. So you'll know what I mean if you got a problem. Just make sure everything's nice and snug. And it's all good. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you liked my uh, video on how to change an air filter on a 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. I appreciate it. Have a good one, guys.